Hello, I'm Abyx Toycat, and welcome back to the video. Today I'm going to be talking about the lobby in Battle Minigame. And the reason for this is because you actually spend a lot of time here between games. It's 60 seconds between each and every round, and as a result of that, a lot of you have already found the secrets. And if you haven't, you've watched my video on where you can find all the mob pets and all the fireworks. And if that is the sort of person you are and you still want to have some fun, you might start playing hide and seek with friends when you're in the lobby. Or if you're like me, you might just love to do parkour. And as a result of that, I figured I'd show you the hiding spots and the parkour spots for the lobby that you might not have previously known about with today's video. So hopefully you'll enjoy this second Secrets of the Lobby video. If you do, like the video, let me know because it helps out the channel a lot and lets me know you do like this sort of thing. And again, like me, you do like goofing off on lobbies because it is a fun 60 second opportunity to goof off, goof on, all that sort of stuff in the, in the time. So with that said, let's go. We're going to be doing this in three separate categories. The really, really easy ones that are kind of in plain sight that probably you know about, but just in case you don't. The kind of more, uh, you know, the medium ones, the ones that you can learn to do and then you're like, ah, that's kind of that. And then there's the really tricky one, which I've recently discovered and which can do some, you know, uh, that is really, really tricky to get to but it's really cool and I think if we do work out a way to get out of the map would involve using that but with that said let's get straight into the easy one shall we because uh, the most obvious one of all of them is that you can go inside or on top of the fountain so uh, you can go inside the fountain and there's actually air bubbles here which is really handy I mean it doesn't actually matter that there's no air elsewhere because you don't drown at any point but still it's kind of useful to know and also if you can actually swim up to the top of this thing and you can chill on top of that I think that's like one of the uh, more bold hiding spots if for some reason you are playing hide and seek because you can be like oh yeah uh, there's just there's just always been a cat statue on top of the post then you know that and <laughs> yeah, that's one of the hiding spots you can use if you want to be a really bold one. But if you want a decent hiding spot, there's a couple of really obvious ones. There's one just over here. This bit is really, really interesting because it's just a kind of way to look out at the jungle. I don't know why this exists, but it's a kind of fun little hiding spot. Uh, it's almost like they want us to play hide and seek. And then on the other side, there's also one over here. By the way, this is the library on both sides where it has a hiding spot. Again, there's actually some dirt leading up to this. I don't know why. Maybe it's a redstone thing. I, that's what I have to imagine it is. And I think this is part of an Easter egg that we just haven't found yet. But that's uh, just what I think right now. Let's move on from that to uh, the other parts of the map, which is going to be uh, just over here, because the opposite side to the library and that little corridor, there's one over here too. This you can't see out the map on unless you jump, and then even then, just about barely. But you can hide here, and maybe people won't look. But yeah, they're the really obvious ones you might not have seen yet, or I guess you could go like behind the cauldron. This is a really, really bad hiding spot. Don't do this. But yeah, with that said, they're the really uh, easy ones that you probably already knew about, but just in case you didn't, there's a handy thing. I guess you could also hide in the library behind like one of the bookcases. But again, like uh, they're really obvious. Uh, uh, locations. Let's talk about ones that aren't so obvious and they're a little bit trickier to do. So uh, let's start with the one that's kind of the easiest of the tricky ones because it just involves doing a relatively simple parkour and going up. So uh, if you want, if you want, you can hop over here. Uh, by the way, you can also hide inside these buildings. That's a handy low off place you can do. You can also do it inside the windowsill there. Again, not amazing places, but people probably won't expect it. Also inside the painting, another easy but maybe not expected one. But yeah, as far as like medium uh, difficult to do ones, the easiest of them is just to hop down here. You have to actually hop directly onto that thing. So I <laughs> I goofed up just a little there, but yeah, if you hop directly onto that thing, then you can kind of walk around the the wall, and it's a again, it's it's a place that no one's going to expect because most people expect either really high or really obvious. Whereas if you go, so let, let's do this jump probably this time. So you want to go to here, and then kind of like actually wait, you you go to like out here. And then you hop down to there. So just like this. And then you can go around the corner. And you can just chill right here. Go crouch. And again, you can be very well hidden. No one's going to be both looking in this corner and up. Probably not anyway. And just in case they are looking at this particular corner, maybe go into the other one. It's slightly less well hidden, but it's still another little cool corner you can jump in. And uh, I guess if not that, then jump in the cauldron and hide here. But yeah, besides uh, that as well, there's uh, another one on each side of the map. Which again, is reasonably, uh, you know, me uh, I guess medium difficulty to do. Because you once you learn how to do it, it's relatively easy. But it does take a little bit of learning because this one on this side involves you going all the way up to the firework dispenser because as you can see, once you go up here, uh, you can actually decide to, on this side, um, instead of hopping down onto the slime block, there isn't m uh, many other locations you can go, but you can hop onto that if you really want. So it's a little bit of a tricky jump. I had a few issues, but you can hop onto this and then hop straight over to there. And again, it's a somewhat well-hidden position. I think this one's a lot better <laughs> hidden than that one. But again, that's uh, your own choice if you really want to do that. And also from here, you can try and jump down onto that wooden thing down there. I always have problems doing it personally, but if you want, you can try and do something like that and land there perfectly. Again, entirely your choice. And then and there's um, on the other side of the map, so like I mentioned, there's one on each side. Uh, there's the ability to kind of go up a little bit and then hide behind the same things you'd have been doing before. Because again, most of the hiding spots on this map, by the way, if you want to have this go out, there's a little lever down there. And a little thing you might not know. So, lever off, lever on. Oh no, that's lever off and then not that. that le then lever on, then lever off again. Now it's turned on. Now we can hop back up to here. 
go back into our place. And yeah, basically, if, if you want to go on this side, there's another kind of handy one, because you can use the slime block if you really want to, as a as, as kind of like a reverse bounce thing. So you just jump on this, and then immediately try and spin around. So just like this, and then try and spin around, and land up here. It's, uh, again, it took a little bit of learning to get, uh, get me used to, but once you can do that, you can go into both of the corners and be a little bit more hidden. This one's not very good, but the other one is really, really good, because even if people do expect you to be, uh, like, down there, most people aren't going to look up here behind the pillar for you, and again, it might be a pretty good hiding spot. Also, you can see out the map again, which is <laughs> something that's uh, kind of handy, I guess. Uh, there's not too much other, uh, much else use from being up here. I've tried to find some amazing uses for it, but I just haven't really found any, whereas the other side is kind of promising, because there's another medium one, and another and, and one really, really hard to get to spot that you might just enjoy. So the, 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 uh, the other one that's reasonably easy, and kind of, kind of weird to get to, is if you hop up here, and then hop up all the way up here, is you kind of follow this thing along, and then hop over to there, for instance, and then up to here, kind of follow the thing around. You can actually follow this all the way around, so you get to the very center. Again, not an amazing place. Okay, so then you have to hop just under there. A little bit of a hard jump. But yeah, from here, uh, it's not to an amazing spot by itself, but you can maybe, like, hide in the shadows if you've got a dark skin or something. Uh, you can also, like, jump down to that little spot down there. Again, not very anticipated, so let's show you the cat will fall off. <laughs> and uh, finally, we've got one really, really tricky jump to make. So uh, this is going to take me multiple takes to do, because it, uh, or multiple chances to do, because this is a jump that even now I can't master how to, do it, uh, how to do it, despite having tried, you know, like, hundreds of times by this point, because I think this is the way that will lead you out of the map eventually. I don't know what the way out there is. I don't know if that's even going to be too amazingly possible, but I think there is going to be a way from here out of the map, because basically what you have to do is you have to jump from up here, so the place I've been to like three times now, onto the slime block, so like jump from here, sprint jump over that block, onto the slime block, and then land on the windowsill over there. So let me just show you with one attempt so we can kind of get close maybe. So, uh, okay, or maybe not do that. So you've got to kind of go leftwards, bounce onto the slime block, and then land on that windowsill. It's a really tricky jump to make, and I'll just get back to you when I've actually made the jump, because <laughs> it's going to take me a few attempts. Okay, you just saw me do it. You just saw me do it. There we go. It's it's a really tricky jump. It involves going on the very edge of the jump ball, because you can't go on the edge of that actual block. The edge of the jumpable slime block, then kind of following this along, avoiding the pillar, then going all the way in at the last second, and then you can land just over here. So this is a really, really cool place to get to, because no one really expects it whatsoever. You can also see into there where there's just a, a single torch. Not really much going on there, personally, <laughs> all, honestly. Uh, what you can also do from here is you can jump to that uh, little wall over here. So uh, assuming I don't mess this up all of a sudden, you can actually jump onto the little uh, wall like this, and then you can jump either onto this uh, redstone lamp on, or onto that redstone lamp. Or you can just follow along to this if you really want to. Or actually, you could use this to jump to this and then over to that. And this is how close we are to the edge of the map. It's so close. It's just out of reach. And I, I really, I, I feel like there's got to be one more step involved to getting here. I don't know what that step is, but it is something that I think is really cool. Uh, but yeah, let's see if we can now jump from here over to that one. It is a four block gap, so it's a really, really tricky jump to make, so we're going to try this a few times I guess, and uh, yeah, it's just one of, the, uh, one of the really cool things that no one's expecting, uh, if you just do uh, do decide to go down here and then under there, which you can get entirely to, a very amazing hiding spot that no one's going to find maybe, maybe that's, uh, you know, out, out of the spirit of hide and seek, but winning hide and seek isn't out of the spirit of anything, okay, we're going to try this one more time, again, it's a four block gap so it should just be possible if you know what you're doing, and uh, then you can get to that, and you can climb up to the fence if I'm not mistaken, and yeah, if you want to do some cool stuff, that's how you can do it, so um yeah, with that, okay. <laughs> with that said, uh, four block traps, uh, again, they're really tricky to make for some reason, at least for me. Um, okay, there we go. That's that's the block made. And AK, if you want to, you can climb onto the fence there because I believe uh, you can actually climb over it to some extent. So just like that. Okay, it doesn't actually probably work that way. But yeah, as you can see, you can get very, very, very close. Also, you can use that to get... Um, on the window of that building, in case that's relevant. You can get very, very close to getting out the map and get to some amazing places that no one really expects, or you can fall down like that, and I think that's amazing. So yeah, this is every single uh, secret lore location I've found so far. I think there is going to be one more big secret revealed that we just haven't found yet, and I'd love if any of you do you know, decide to go searching for it and let me know if you do find it. And even if you just search in general, I, I, I think it's a great fun to have 60 seconds to search this lobby between games. And uh, yeah, hope this video taught you something you didn't know about it. If it did, like the video and let me know because it helps out the channel a lot. And let's know you do like um, this little lobby thing. Um, do you think there is a grand secret beyond this or do you think I'm digging too deep into it? I'd also like to know that. And besides that, I guess I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.